Hello, y'all. I got Cali. <laughs> you eating that? Period. Oh, I like it. I got Cali in the building. Hey, girl. Hey, what's up? What's up? Girl, I'm so happy to have you. I know you just been smiling. I, I love have. it. It's so pretty. <laughs> oh, thanks. See, now I feel like a fan girl. <laughs> I work in this energy, so I can't really be too big of a fan, but I'm a real big fan, actually. Oh, thank you. Thank so you. So I wanna I'm really happy that y'all are here. Yeah. Um, and I'm really happy to sit down and have this conversation because the world needs to know more about Kelly and what makes up who she is and the musical genius that she is. Cause yeah. I don't think y'all realize the beat she selected. The way that she carries her Cali, that's it. That's on purpose. Yeah. yeah. Sounds good. Make you feel good. Make the ladies think they look good. If they don't, if they do, they don't. If they do, they whatever. Regardless. It made yeah. me feel like I'm the baddest when I say Cali. And that's how I want the girls to feel. Period. Period. Okay. And also it's girl season. Mm -hmm. Now, <laughs> I'm not supposed to be a girl no more. But actually, it makes sense because like at this point, I'm so secure in myself. Yeah. That not that being a girl really means being a Exactly. Girl. I was going to say that because it's not, it's a season. You're not really a f girl. You know, it's a different meaning than somebody saying like, boy, you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I know what you mean. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, that's why I'm like, it's funny. But now I think I'm just so secure. There is nothing that's going to der derail me. Yeah. So if it's, if it's giving, if it's giving him, that's what it is. Exactly. If it's giving, he got to go. Then that's what he do. Or he feel like he don't want to, he want to cheat. He got to stand on that. Go ahead, boo boo. Yeah. Do you think bless your heart? Bless your heart. Your loss. <laughs> All right. Let me just jump right into it. We're going to break the ice. Now, remember I said distinctly about the questions. Mm -hmm. Tell stories around them. Like, this is fun, nostalgic. Yeah. All right. What's the first song you remember hearing? Callie. Like, when I was younger? Baby. Baby Callie. Like, literally two, three, four, five. However, the most first thing you can think about. Most first one. Well, the first song that like really like stuck with me that I, I feel like I learned the words to yeah. was Super Bass Super Bass by uh Super Bass by Nicki. Cuz I, I just had that to That makes like, a lot of sense. Uh, yeah, I just had to learn it like super super fast. <laughs> I wanted to rap it just like her. I wanted to wear the, the the colors and everything just like that. Like I just love everything about the song. No, actually I take that back. Itty Bitty Piggy. That okay. was my jam. I bet you I bet you killed that too. I did. How old was you rapping on rapping that? I don't know, maybe like nine. Yeah, I'm about to say you was at least like third, fourth, fifth grade, maybe. Yeah. Okay, damn. Because yeah. I couldn't really, I couldn't really listen to like rap songs. Like I grew up in a real like strict household, so it's like Nicki and like Missy. Yeah, we're gonna talk about that mm -hmm. actually in this in the next segment. So you already bridging me over. So super bass slash well itty bitty piggy, but let's just say Nicki mm -hmm. in general was like some was some of the first music. Yeah. Especially rap music that stuck with you. All right, so growing up in your strict household, since you couldn't listen to rap, what were some of the other first songs that you were, I guess, styles of music that you yeah. were exposed to? Um, Like R&B. I was a real, like, Hannah Montana, not Hannah Montana, Miley Cyrus girl, like, um, Mary J. Blige, Fantasia, Ooh. Um, Lauren Hill. Flow a tree, you know, like yeah. my mom was like, beauty shop music. Yeah, like you know that music you make when you know it's Sunday. Your mama up cleaning, and you know what time it is. As soon as you get up, yep. like it's time as soon to get the house clean. Yep. Damn. Okay, yeah. you taking me back now because I'm thinking about uh, what's it called? I wish I was Heather Headley. Was that something you listened mm -mm. to? No. Damn. Okay. Well, I'm thinking Beauty Shop as in like the mm -hmm. R&B channels that we'd be playing yeah. when we was getting a perm. Well, when I was getting a perm back in the day. I never had a perm in my life. Well, we can tell. Your locks are <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. They look really good. Thank you. Um. Okay. So R&B and really just any music part of like black culture around them times probably most likely was what you was exposed to. Exactly. Outside yeah. of the rap, rap, rap. Yeah. Okay. So how was you sneaking and nicking in them in? I mean, it's it's Nikki. My mama gonna let me turn on some Nikki. We was in the okay. kitchen cooking, and she she knew what to do. She knew what time it was. I was watching the music videos, and all, yeah, it, Nikki household for sure. Okay, well, what what else was your mom listening to then that she might have put you on to outside? I um, mean, that's uh, really it. Like, I know E forty. E I don't know why that's just randomly came in my head. I used to listen to a lot of E40. Like my mom's ex husband would always put that on, like driving to school. He's from Cali. No, is she from Cali? Yeah. Okay, there yeah. we go. She is. She from Compton. Oh, duh. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, now we getting the full picture. Yeah. All right. So, e damn, E40. 
I'm thinking you you take me back to something else right now. Um, what's that? It go on and on. Yeah, can't understand. That's E40 right here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, all right. So outside of your mom's influences, what was your dad listening to? I don't know what he was listening to. Okay. My, my dad. He went around here. He wasn't in the picture. I mean, he was, but not. To, we we wasn't listening to no music. My dad used to like turn on sports games on the radio. You know Ooh. how you could just hear? Yeah. I know what you mean. No, yeah. Yeah. And like ask me, ask us like, did you hear that? Like, was you listening? Like, you know, like <laughs> little Nigga, games and stuff giving it. out. Yeah. You see what you <laughs> You see how life was for me. <laughs> okay. We get in the picture, right? We get in the picture with Callie's house. All right. So then when you were rapping Itty Bitty Picky, was you doing that to yourself in the room or were you performing for your friends and for the family in the in the house? Both. Like, I, I didn't really have a lot of friends. Like, I don't have a lot of friends now. But like, my one, my couple of friends when they came over, like we would make like dance routines and stuff. Okay, and you like, was that girl? Yeah, we was we was just like sleepovers and stuff. We already knew like, oh, you know, you don't, bet you don't know the whole song. Yeah, I know the whole song. Like, so there is a YouTube video I can probably search and find from you <laughs> and your girl group from yeah. a sleepover one night because yeah. I know there's one of me doing this crazy crank- that soldier boy from years ago. So no, it's this one video, and I swear I've been looking for it forever. Me and my best friend, we sat in front of a computer. And we turned on a beat and we rapped about chicken for literally three minutes. Just chicken. That's and I was a vegetarian. Are you still a vegetarian? No. Okay. Mm-mm. I eat the Mm-mm. meat. <laughs> but no, we literally rapped about chicken. Like, it's the funniest thing ever. And I just cannot find it. It was on Facebook. Oh my, that's probably why you can't find it. Yeah. My mama had it up there. It was just It so was like funny. a webcam. Yeah, y'all was sitting in front of a webcam type thing on a laptop. I don't remember. I think it was, no, it was just her phone. It was her old phone. And we was just, we was, we was bored. We was so bored. <laughs> but it was good though. I feel like if I posted yeah. it now, it would be so funny. Well, when did you start writing music for yourself? Um, Like nine, really. But I would get a dictionary and just try to find words that rhyme with each other. Like, you know, trying to learn the meaning of yeah. uh, the lyrics and stuff. And I couldn't rap about like boys and stuff. None of the stuff I'm rapping about now. I had to like, I had a song called Dedicated. I rapped about Hello Kitty. I love Hello Kitty. Oh my yeah. God. My last guest is a Hello Kitty fan. Yeah. I am too. I, I thought I was going to make the theme song. Like, to Hello Kitty? Yeah. But they she, didn't ever see the video. They didn't want to say, what, did you send it in to whatever no. the company is? We just posted on YouTube. And I still can't find it on YouTube though. Well, you on the Barbie, you on the Barbie, the Barbie soundtrack? Yeah, I am. Yes, yeah, so you you manifested something in, in some that, of that nature. Yeah, yeah. Something of that nature. Okay, so then um, I just asked you about when you start writing music for yourself. But tell me le- legit, like about the first song that you wrote. Okay, um, the first song that I wrote, it was called "Dedicated," the one I told you about. Yeah, and I think I was like nine, ten ish, and. It was just about me being dedicated, loving, living in Atlanta. Like, yeah, I don't know. I don't remember all the lyrics. It's like, I'm dedicated. I'm dedicated. I represent the A team. Yep, top rated. I'm dedicated. Yeah. Hey, were you a cheerleader at all? Yeah. Okay. In, I can tell. And um, in California when I lived out there, when I was really young. I did like competitive cheer. But when I moved to Atlanta, I stopped all of that. I, I was too. Soccer. I was, yeah. yeah, I was a competitive I cheerleader. Used to, I miss that, like, the sleepovers, and then you wake up, and you go to, like, the, like, uh, football things, and everybody giving out their pins. Did you do that? Yeah, like, on the did jackets? you, the sleepovers, or did you have a, what kind of, well, I want to say it like this, I want to say, did you have black girls on your squad? Because my yeah, squad, I was, was the only we, black girl. It was called the Carson And that sleepover Colts. was not fun. No, it was really fun. It was called the Carson Colts. We was called the Carson Colts. I can't remember the park that we would always practice at, but it was in Carson, California. And yeah, it was all black girls. We was lit. Damn. And we used to win them competitions. Like first I'm sure place, you did. Like, we was lit. What's crazy is when, as I was cheering through, I cheered from like fifth grade to even sophomore year of college. I cheered from Morehouse for mm-hmm. a little bit. And when I got to Delaware, actually, because I've been in like white schools until I got to Delaware, <laughs> I had to learn how to cheer like a black girl. Oh, okay. And that's, was mad different. Yeah. And I just remember being like, oh, this 
fun and we would win the hell out of our competitions because even our cheers was it's just like harder. The, the like, energy, the yeah. like the face, the the attitude. Everything. Yeah. All of that. And now our music was fire too. Yeah. Our music for our, our compilation. Like the mix, I know, I know that mix was fire. It was sure. fire as hell. Because I'll be seeing the schools like the what is it called? The major reds, they be oh, oh my god, the black schools, they be HBCUs, they be yes. that. Up Shout out to bad. Mahogany in Motion. Yeah. Um, over at Morehouse. Um, now now you got me going flash doing flash rest again. <laughs> okay, girl. Well, let's talk about your first performance then. Okay. And how old were you when you did that? Tell me the whole story. What you was wearing, all that. Okay. I was ten and it was my my mom's friend slash my brother's friend birthday party. And they knew I was making music. So they was like, oh, we're going to pay her to like come perform her song, Dedicated. That I did. <laughs> it's on YouTube. Wait, hold on. You was getting paid? Yeah. Well, it was like $200. But to be t- Girl, hold on. That's a Listen, lot for 10 years old. I know. I know. You was hustling. I sure was. And they was lit. They didn't know none of the words, but we was all lit. I was wearing this little black uh, letterman jacket with these leather pants and the, some Doc Martin boots. Nice. I was cute. Nice. Yeah, you was cute. Who I was styled you? Cute? M- me? You? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. My mama probably. Yeah. Shoot. Laid it out on the bed. <laughs> this <laughs> this what you're wearing today. Yep. That was my that was my first performance for real. I was so nervous. I didn't even like I was just sitting there smiling. Like if you if you watch the the video, I can actually show you after this. Mm-hmm. If you watch the video, like I'm just cheesing, like like trying to wrap the words because right. they like they just turned up, like standing, like waving their hands, not knowing none of the words. I'm like, we all just here together the first time. Right, you must have must have been like this girl having fun, so we having fun too. Yeah, they thought she was probably just having a blast up there. Yeah, I was just there for that two hundred dollars. <laughs> I was, to be honest, as a kid, you like, you hear money? Okay. Right, yeah, I sure. Go. Yeah. I'll perform me. Okay, well then, from that performance to, I guess, one of your first big breakthrough performances on a, like a, a really big stage, one that probably made you nervous as well, too. Can you tell me the story about that one? Um, and which stage that was? It had to be the BET Awards this year. Mm-hmm. I was, it was my first um, award show, like, performance I didn't really know how everything goes and like the rundown event. I was just like so nervous about like how I'm gonna look, how I'm gonna get this done, like you know the choreography, like outfit, just the whole thing. Like I just felt like I had to eat because I really love what I do. Then I I was nervous because like the crowd, like I didn't I'm I didn't know I was gonna be in front of like my peers, you know, like other like rap girls and other like uh, artists, you know, older and younger. And I was just like, oh my God, like, before I was up there, I had took a shot and that shot went away. Like, I did not feel nothing because I was, the nerves, yeah. like, and I was so anxious to, like, get it done. I was excited too. Like, I wanted to get out there, but the nerves at the same time. But it came out great and yeah, I ate. It yeah. did. You had, like, the red bra on. No, that no, was the VMAs. That was the VMAs. That was my second one. That I was, was a... I was ready for that. Okay, I'm going to say, because I was just watching that this morning. You killed that. Yeah, thank you. I was talking about the B2 words. I had like the white outfit on with the diamonds and I had some male dancers. It was fun. And I also had to like figure out and like uh, work on that whole performance in like three days. What? Yeah. So Damn. I was like. Is it normally that quick of a turnaround? Yeah. Because you don't really be knowing like. Yeah, I guess. If you're about to. You're about to get it or not. Yeah. Damn. Well, shout out to you because I think that like a lot of times, well, not a lot of times, in this new era it is an era yeah. of the ladies. Like, and and everyone's like, okay, the ladies performing, but like when you get up there and you actually have the choreography and you actually kind of got the experience along with it. Yeah. And obviously like your style of rap and the way that you sound, it sounds different. You're in your lane with that. Yeah. Like it makes, it just makes you appreciate us as women, as artists even more. Yeah. Cause everyone want to say, I'm saying us like I'm rapping too. But <laughs> right. everybody want to say, oh, they talk about the same thing or this that, and the third. But like, now when you see Callie get on that stage and she kill it, now you know who Callie is. Yeah, you just got you got to come to a Callie show. Like, a, you got to see I the was person. To you tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was actually really sad about that, but bigger things, okay. you know, like you know, more things on the way. More things on the way. Maybe we can talk about it later. Okay, girl. Let me. No, we can get to it. Right, I can talk about it. Yeah. Yes. I, no, I had to I had to cancel because I'm about to go on tour with Sexy Red and I'm going to be back in New York like in two days. Well, I'm uh, staying in New York for it. No, I'm not. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to be back in New York though on the 17th and the 18th. So 
That's why. Girl. Yeah. Hold on. We outside. We outside. So I'm like, don't worry, y'all. We finna. Yo. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be here just three more days after Congratulations. That. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, I'm saying that from like just me being a fan of black women anyway. Yeah. But like, you lining up with all these moments, it yeah. means a lot. Because again, I've been watching you for a while, but like now everybody else can see you. Yeah. And it's aligning with all the biggest moments. And I get to put moments. on. Yeah. Put on. Please exactly. put on for us. I will. Always. <laughs> Please put on for us. Okay. I'm really excited about that. Let me let me get back to this section though, because then I will, we'll talk about <laughs> what's next after Okay. After that. Um. All right. So your first performance, you performed Dedicated. Tell me about the first time you recorded yourself in a music studio, like a real studio. Um... And how that was. And were you nervous then? Like, what is your, you know what? Let me back the question up. Just tell me about how your process is in the studio in general. Okay. Um, so when I'm in the studio, I, one, I don't like a lot of people in the studio with me. Cause I like, heard that. Yeah. I'm like, I be needing a couple shots to be around too many folks. <laughs> like, I feel like the studio is like my time to like separate. Cause I'm around people like every single day. Yeah. You know? But, um. I got me some hookah in there because I'm a hookah girl. I love me a hookah. I have to be around hookah. I said I was going to stop smoking hookah when I was 23, but I lied to myself. It's all right. You got time. Yeah, but I, it's not really not good for you. So, like, I'm trying to get away from it. I'm not really trying. That's a lie. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, should have had a hookah right here. Y'all should have told me yes, that. I wish Sammy would have told me that. I would have had a pink hookah. I love hookah. Damn. But um, I like hookah, too. It's usually... Stop. It's usually just me and my engineer, Sammy. She be in there. Mm -hmm. um, and we just be vibing. Like, sometimes I sometimes I just get in there, like, something comes to my head. I got to hear it. When I hear a beat, like, it has to, like, immediately, like, come out. Like, I can't force myself to, like, overly think. Because then it's like, it, doesn't just, it just doesn't feel right. You, you know? right after you hear the beats, obviously, right? Like, you I mean, sometimes. Sometimes I go on the mic and I just be like, mm hmm. Like trying to, you know, yeah, get figure it out, mumbling or something. Or I'll just sit there with my notes out, like my phone, and just like, it just start coming out. Yeah. Yeah. That's beautiful, though. Because then, you. like, in a setting with just you, I always wonder how some people would just be having everybody in the I studio. cannot think. I feel like I'm going to start talking too much, and I'm going to forget why I'm here. Or like, it turns into a party, and then it's not productive. Yeah, we love studio parties, though. Studio parties be fun, though, when there <laughs> are a lot of people there. Like, when it's like, I only have, like, a couple things to get done, you know. I'm just yeah. there kicking it. Yeah. But when I know I'm down, I'm like, it's time for serious business. Like, when I had to start, you know, being in the studio for a girl season, it was like, mm, mm -mm. it's straight business. Like, we got to get a girl something to listen to. Oh, yeah. Thank you for yeah. giving us that. They right. was mad about my four songs, though, girl. Why? It just came out. They wasn't they they said it's not enough, which I understand. I understand. <sighs> I will say I my understand. initial reaction when I saw how many songs it was, I was like, oh, she got she got something big coming in. Yeah. That's what I but I can I work in this shit? So, so you like, you know like yeah. you know the tea behind the scenes. You know yeah, what I'm saying? But I, I went straight to the the is it doing too much or say too much? Say too, say much. too much. I went straight to that one because I just love That's that my beat. song. I love that song. Thank you. The way if y'all ain't listened to it yet, the way she ride that beat is crazy. And for the the millennials that know where that song is from, yeah, the, and ain't nobody touched that song. This the first this this is why. Why would she not touch that song yeah, with the way her voice it, sounds? It's so good. And I feel like Nudie, how he got on it, I feel like he sounds oh, different. I, I ain't get to, I keep starting it over. I ain't get his part yet because I like your part. Oh, man. You got to go back and listen. I know. I am. You got to. Run the whole, the whole the tape whole, from start, start to finish. Okay. Yeah. I will. I just really like hearing how you open it up. <laughs> um, Girl, okay. Let's play the game, though. All right. All so right. I'm going to name, I'm going to say five different artists. They're going to be random. Okay. I know the first one I'm going to say. I don't know the rest of them yet. You're just going to name songs that come to the top of your mind when I say the artist's name. Okay. Okay, ready? Miss Yelly. Work it. Oh. Ooh, you want to be that day, yeah. round the thing, round the sit. Yeah. That's my song. You could be nice on that beat, too. Yeah. That would be. I have to. But, yeah. <laughs> Slow it down. Oh, oh, the sampling and stuff yeah. like that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, for fun. Yeah. Like just for fun. Like just to feel that you could be fun. Yeah. Um. Okay. Let me do Aaliyah. Dang, I love me some Aaliyah. Rock the boat. Rock the boat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Scissor. Snooze. I don't know. I be listening to that all the time. I know that's like her newer stuff, but it's I a, love it's that song. a good one. I love that. Even, even the acoustic one with Justin Bieber. That's fire. I haven't heard that one. Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah, he's 
You gotta, you gotta tap. I, I yeah. took some time. I took some time off. I was away for like six weeks. Okay, and that was me, let you that's have me trying he to heal from being was, a f- girl all summer. Uh, we we not healed yet. We not. Because <laughs> the men they was acting a fool too, and I really just feel like this is the this is the reason behind a f- girl season. Okay. Too. I really just feel like they played in our face for too long, and the bar is like in, in hell. hell. And why would we? Let all of that go and forget about that just because it's starting to get cold outside. Like, I feel like as a collective, we need to just come together and be like, I'm not going for that no more. I'm sorry. That's really just because it's cold outside don't mean it. it, it then it's time to take your ex back and call him yeah. and answer that mail call ID. No. Somebody, just, they say it's holiday season, girl. Uh, no, stay on business. Get to your bag, find out what you like. You and the right holiday season to come around, or the right man that's gone. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, stand yeah. on business. I had a situation pop up where someone was like, "Yeah, I'm about to take you with me with my DM or not." Well, he he we he DM me and was like, um, I he was like, you know, trying to chill. Now it's like, you know, the weather's getting uh, weather's getting yeah. cold. He was like, I'm about to go into hibernation. I'm taking you with me, and like I know him, we know yeah. each other, but like it's not like that. Yeah. But then I was like, oh, like that sounds nice, but I don't really want to. Right now, yeah, it, and you don't have to. And on top of that, like they want to do that now because it's a thing. But then some will come around and just play all in your face again. I feel like if I'm gonna really start like getting out of ep- girl season, I need to be something serious, something I really like, something Stand I stand like, on business. Yeah, like yeah. somebody I really like. I got to know, and you know, yeah, you gotta get me out of girl season. You gotta show me some. Well, I'll be tired of waiting for them to show me something. For, I'm or tired of waiting for the Manifest. right. Manifest. You're right. We'll talk about that too. Yeah. Okay. Let's get back to it. Well, we didn't, the game, where'd the game go? <laughs> we are artists too. We are, we are <laughs> artists too. Let me, I'm going to name one more. It got to be a, a, I know I did name a third one with SZA. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. Let's go to understanding a little bit more about your taste in music and your sound palette. That's what I like okay. to call it. Okay. <clears throat> if you could be a fly on the wall. In the recording session of any song or any artist, dead or alive, okay. what would it be and why? Rolling Stone, um, Brent Fires. Wow. Why? I, heard, I heard he be um, in the studio, like, they actually, like, play the sounds. Like, it's a, like a The actual band. instrumentation. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And I just love how he sound. Like, he be saying some toxic stuff, but Y'all he need just say sound. Y'all need some together now. I'm think manifesting it. it. I'm manifesting it. Let's, let's manifest the out of that right yeah. now I need that for my ears yeah that would be good that song is so good too like I just it's like lit but just so smooth like, I don't know okay yeah what's another one let's let's keep, I like this question okay um what other what other thing? song hmm I feel like any Rihanna song I just want to be there cause she just looks so good <laughs> She really do. And like, she just sounds so great. Like, I'm ready for her to make music, like, again, and yeah. drop new music. But Is that like, ever going to happen, Ree? Please. We like, need I'm, it. I'm, 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 that is somebody that I wouldn't even care if there's, like, no, like, celebrity section in the concert. Like, I'm going. Like, I will be You're there. just going to be right there. <laughs> just sit, right there. Right in the front. Yeah. Get front off me. Center. Get off me. I'm yeah. here for Riri. I'm here for Riri. Now, that would be dope, actually. Mm-hmm. Needed me. This is a good one too. Yeah. From my favorite ones for her. Yeah. The way that I would love to hear that in a real or studio. even skin. Oh, oh, uh, uh, like what? What? What was she doing Ooh, in the studio yes, when she like, re- what, recorded that? What did she look like? What did she smell like? I know. Like, what is she wearing? What she just had to be? I don't know. I don't know. Some. Okay. Damn. All right. Damn. You got now. You got me thinking. Hmm. Let me stop interviewing my damn self. Go back to you. Okay. So. Outside of that, I guess, be, uh, Rihanna and you said Brent Fias being people that you would love to like kind of experience in our actual recording session. Let's talk about your actual, like, I guess, playlists and like what you actually like to listen to on your own. Mm-hmm. Okay. So given that it's girl season, given that, you know, we, we a little toxic, I am pretty toxic myself. And mm-hmm. not to say that we should be shouting that out the top of our lungs, but hey, it is part of our lives. I'm only toxic if you, uh, if you make me be if toxic. If you make me like, toxic, you start off, right. you, you start doing toxic stuff to me. Okay. Let's make a toxic playlist then. Okay. Name five songs, most toxic ones you can think of 
that you would put on the toxic playlist and you would send to the um F and F Lorilla. I'm F R E E. Free. Period. Um, my collection, future. Why are you gonna send them that one? <laughs> In my world, right. <laughs> you just part of the collection. <laughs> um, I'm gonna say, stand on it by me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, stand up, stand you better on. Better have that one on there. Um, let me see. What's the, what's that one Brent fat fire song? Uh, I got too many hoes. Yeah, but they ain't you. Wait. R- no, clouded. What's the other one? No, it's not that one. No, not that one. Damn. It's a uh, dead man walking. I think I can't remember the lyrics, but I know it's a little no. toxic. Yeah, dead man walk. It's dead man walking. Yeah, it's dead yeah. man walking. Um, just cause I love, don't mean I something. Mm-hmm. I know what you're talking about. Just I just don't want to sing. You don't mean I love you or something like that. Um, shit. <laughs> 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 um, let me think. I need one more. What do I be listening to? Um, that's not toxic enough. That's kind of like <laughs> not that it's not toxic but enough. Rehab Rihanna. That's not that toxic. That's not toxic. That's not toxic enough. I'm trying to think. I be listening to me. I be listening to stuff. I'm trying to like visualize my playlist. But I'm I'm having like it's a brain okay. fart. Now I just had a freaking a brain not brain fart the opposite of that. Well, this ain't a toxic song. Conceited by Remy Ma. It ain't. But it's just something I would love to hear you on. Oh, <laughs> <girl. laughs> the beat, um, the beat heartbeat. Yeah, I don't know. It's okay. That's what I got right now. But watch when I leave. I'm gonna be like, dang. We should, like, I think all the ladies should just start a toxic play. Like, anytime you think of a really toxic song, just put it in that playlist. Instead of texting that, just think of a song and just add it to your add arsenal to of, like... I'm, I think I'm going to make that, like, a should. playlist. Make that a I'm thing. I'm going to go through and I'm going to send it to you. Thank you. Yeah. Make that a thing, please. Because, yeah. like, instead of us doing reckless, let's just make make music out of it. Yeah. As as what you what do. You, what you do. Yeah. Um. Okay. Let's jump into the rest of this because I, I know you got to leave soon. Um. So it's girl season and you mm-hmm. already kind of went into like what it was about but outside of the origins of girl season like what is girl season mean for Callie right now like what's going to come out of the season for you um just me learning who I am and what I want and what I need period like that's why I got it from like you know um like I said I need to stand on I need to stand on business I be talking so much and I don't be following my own advice. So this season for me is me just trying to do that. You know okay. what I'm saying? Leave that man alone. You're not for you. Mm-hmm. So I, I gotta, I gotta stand on that. You know, and then I put in my music. Like, yeah. So I'm gonna be on tour. I'm gonna be outside, busy. You know, it's when you stay busy. Oh, they be busy, 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 busy. Because then you forget. Like you forget yep. about it. You working hard, getting to the bag. Then you just like doing little things that that you like to find out, you know, what you want. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm gonna do. Well, no, I think we I all hope should. The, do that. I hope the girls follow. Tell us, tell us that. Tell us that's what we need to do. Yes, and we're Ka- following and your lead. In Cali, we trust. In Cali, we trust. Yes, we following your lead. Though. I'm doing it with y'all. Like you know, we I'm need just, to know that. Yeah, I'm doing it with y'all. I, I'm I'm trying. What's the most exciting thing um, outside of tour that you got coming up? Um, outside of tour? Oh, I'm throwing a Halloween party. Oh, where? In, in Atlanta. Atlanta. I'm going to be in Atlanta that weekend. Yeah, I'm throwing it on the 27th on Friday. I'm there. I get there on the 26th. Yes, it's, ho- it's going to be called Halloween. I don't like scary stuff for real. So I get to get real sexy. Yes. Oh, my Slut gosh. Slut TV outside. That's going to be fun. Yeah. We'll talk about that after this. Okay. Yeah, no, I'll be in Atlanta. That's the weekend I'm going to be there for homecoming. Yeah, I'm really excited about that. Like, just, I got dropped for girl season, and then I get to turn up with the girls on the Sexy Red Tour, and then we going, we going to celebrate just being a baddie. Right. During Halloween. In theme. Yeah, in well, theme. What's your birthday? What's your sign? I'm a Leo. You're a Leo. July okay. 29th, yeah. 
I'm a cancer. I'm right before you. I love cancers. You do? Yes. One of my best friends, she's a cancer. Okay, so you know how we are. Yeah, and I got a cancer moon, so I handle my emotions and like I, a cancer. And I have a Leo rising. I'm a Leo rising, too. And a Taurus moon. Okay. I'm a cancer Taurus Leo. Okay. That's kind of weird. Like, you kind of, you cool, though. Like, yeah, you are an emotional gangster. That, that's what I call it, myself. And that shit is so hard sometimes. you like... It really is. Because I'm emotional. Because I'm a Leo and I'm gangster, but that cancer. Yep. <sighs> the cancer part of you still be making like we're petty. Ooh, like care a little bit. Like yep. more than I should. And a little petty too. Yeah. Real petty. A little bit. Oh, real petty? Okay. Well, I said Miss Lick Back. Okay. Yeah. Damn, I wish we had more time because I want to talk about some of the Lick Backs, but <laughs> we're running out of it. Um, do you have any questions for me, Miss Drago? How did you um how did you start this whole like pink room? That's so crazy. I just got that question from the guest before this, but I love answering it. Yeah. I started it because I have a group of friends and every time, you know, we're in studios together because my friend really just has a studio. I like to make music too, but okay. just for fun. Yeah. Like the questions I ask you, I do that because I ask my friends those questions and I make them get on them beats. Oh, okay. And okay. like the first song they remember hearing, they get on that beat. They have a yeah. fucking blast. Yeah. So I like doing that stuff and I was like, I like... Like, I love talking to artists. That's mm -hmm. my job all day, every day. But, like, I want to talk to them from the perspective of, like, what I want to know about them. Yeah. And I want to know about what you like about music, what kind of music you like, yeah. what answers to these questions would, you know, what would you answer these questions as? So, yeah. I started this because I wanted that. Well, I had this idea. I started it because the opportunity came. So, yeah. luck, preparation, opportunity. Yeah. It just came. And I met the guys at Major Stage when they were looking for talent for an idea for a show. And I was like, well, I got a whole vibe. So, let's yeah. go. Yeah. Period. So, yeah. Did you do, like, a segment where it's, like, cocktails in a pink room or something? Oh, my God. And, like, because, you, you know, drinks, like, get people talking for real. Mm. For real, for real. To all your business. Thank you, Callie. No problem. Uh, there's a lot I want to manifest and grow in, into yeah. this show. I'm going to be, that. like, big, like bigger. You know, the, the, the audience is out there. It's going to be clapping, like, ah. Hey, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. You're I welcome. wanted to talk about manifestation too, but, but I don't want to run us out too much because when I get that big stage, I'm bringing you back in a year. Yeah. Okay. But manifestation, I'm going to just say like, it's just, you know, you create your own like reality. You talk about what you want, like it's already happening to you. So like, I'm on a big stage with Callie and you like think about that, like visualize it. You know, your mind is like super powerful. Like you have to visualize it, see it, believe it. Like, tell yourself how you're going to feel, like, in that moment. Yeah. Like, the excitement. I literally manifested my whole entire career. I signed with $19 in my bank account. Like, literally. Scraping up change. Trying to find, yeah. Yeah. Trying to, like, get my cover art done or ask my mom for money and stuff like that. I refused to get a job. I knew I was meant for bigger things. Like, I just did not want to do it. So, yeah. I, I visualized my bank account in zeros. <laughs> Lots of them. Thank you for spreading it on to me. I needed that. Yeah. I did. I yeah. love that. And you know, another thing, I know I'm just talking, no but way. like when you're sad, like and you feel like that emotion was like, you feel like you can't do it. That's when like it's heightened, you know, like you, that's, you manifest more when you're afraid of things or like when you're sad about stuff. Oh. So like you should try to turn that around. Like when you're crying, like I know it's going to sound crazy, but like turn it around and be like, fuck, I love myself. Or like, ah, oh, I'm a millionaire. Like, scream at yourself like that and like feel that like Girl, I that be talking emotion. To myself. Yeah, that that emotion and like that pain is like, yeah, that's why when you say something bad is gonna happen and then it happens. It's or for, like for, for me, I will like I'll put on a beat and I'll because I'm not necessarily a rapper for real or a singer, <laughs> but like I'll just start talking. I'll vlog over instrumentals. Yeah. yeah. When I'm really sad or drunk or whatever, and I just want to like yeah, hit, so you but, should like, like replay that. Like I used to have this app. They took <gasps> Ooh, it down. It just gave you chills. You should like replay that. Like I used to have this app that, um, you say like what you like. Basically, I'm a, I am a millionaire. I love being a millionaire, a multi millionaire, whatever you want. And I used to just like re like constantly just repeat it as I'm asleep because you know when you're asleep, that's you're, like your subconscious is like that's that's how you manifest better. Yeah, like more. So. You should replay your songs, like, just randomly, like, walk around, like, you know, you just hear in the background Play my little vlog songs. Yeah, just oh, my like, gosh. Yeah, just listen to it. Just say random stuff that you Damn. want. Or that you're doing. She's giving me all these ideas, y'all. I love this. I literally just went on, like, a hiatus for six weeks to 
manifest and yeah. like kind of and pray and really dig, dig deep into my higher power, my spirituality. Yeah. Unpack a lot of trauma. I was yeah. in therapy a lot. I was eating right, working out every day, doing yoga, acupuncture, like everything holistic. Yeah. And when I tell you like everything that's been happening in my life since I got back has aligned with something that I needed or had yeah. validated some of the things that I thought about or experienced or some of the, what God has spoken to me through. Yeah. Like, so this means I a feel lot. Like, I feel like God always is going to continue to bless something that you already have. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Not like, like I want, like, please God, give me this. Like he's going to pour more into what you like already believe about yourself. Like, why are you asking? Like, you know what I mean? This is me. This is you. You know? Somebody taught me this and I just like, I'm taking it all in. So well, teach yeah. us. In Cali, we trust. In Cali, we trust. That, I need to, I real. need to, you know, spread spread the word yeah you i can't wait to your halloween party i'm like you need a girls night like all women just need to be in together in a room and spread all this energy and yeah. imagine what we're gonna manifest after that imagine how we gonna be cut yes. off after that exactly <laughs> Sorry. Well, we should do like a sleepover podcast like where you just talk you have to host that i will i'm that's what i'm saying write that down yeah <laughs> You got to do that. I love yeah. that. All right, Callie. Well, it has been a blessing to yes. have you here. And I've manifested this moment my damn self too. Period. So that's what I was going to tell you too. Like uh, I was really looking forward to it. That's yeah. why I was smiling so hard. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, I can't wait to see you perform on that stage. Yeah. You going to be here for New York? Yeah. I'll be here. In this, I'll be here this week. Okay. Or next week or whenever, whenever it is. Yeah. Whatever. Where, when is it? You know? The 17th. Yeah, yes. Okay, that's yes. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be here for sure. All right. Um, And then I'll be in Atlanta that weekend too for okay. homecoming. So I'm going to see you. Okay. But all right, y'all, we are closing out. Callie, thank you so much. Callie. For Peace.